Hello guys, welcome to COTech College of Technology. I am Maxwell. This is part 6 of our C Sharp programming with database. In our previous lecture, we learned how to update a record in a database using our C Sharp application. And today, we will learn how to delete the record. After inserting, updating, you will learn how to delete the record in the database using C Sharp application. So how do we go about it? Now, this is what we did the last time. With the update, we said we have two variables, database variables that is needed always. And this is how we did it. So with the delete, we will double click on the delete button and have these codes here. Let me go over again okay so we always need these two variables whenever you are deleting a record from the database in your c-sharp application and then after we need our declare variables assigned to a value so we say sql connection con is equal to new sql connection the connection holds a connection string so you can see connection string here so we'll copy this guy because it's actually the same thing <laughs> so and then we we'll paste it here then don't forget to open connection so say con dot open the next thing we always do is we have our command the command holds the query with the connection to the database so we say sql connection sorry sql command cmd is equal to new sql command and then what is our command so the command is always a string and it should be in a double quote so you can see sql command string cmd test so you have a command test here followed by comma our connection so if you are not familiar with writing sql server queries this is one of the ways to get or to write your delayed query. You go to your database management system. You right click on a table. You go to script table as delete to. Okay. New query editor window. You click on it. And then we'll have this statement copy. We'll paste it here. And then we'll edit it. Okay. So here, delete from DBO employee where ID equals single single quote, double quote, double quote, plus plus txt id dot test. Now I'm using ID because in our database, the ID was our primary key whenever you are deleting from a database you should delete with a unique colon we can use email because our email is unique we cannot use gender because gender is not unique we can use id email contact those are the columns that are usually unique so here since in our table or in our instance, ID was our primary key. I'm using ID. So delete from employee where ID is equal to txtid.test. Then you say cmd.execute non query. Then we'll display a nice message as message box dot show. Okay. Into bracket. Here we say record deleted successfully okay move out then we have a message title here okay and then we have message box buttons dot okay comma message box icons dot information okay so that's it so these are the few instructions or these are the instructions that is used to delete record 
from our database in our C sharp application. Let's run and see the results. Okay, so now I have to log in, dummy, dummy, oh, sorry, I think I entered the wrong thing, dummy, dummy, okay, I have my dashboard open, and since I am deleting based on the ID, there is no need for me to enter all this records. So now if I want to delete Alice, I'll just enter 1002 and click on delete. So record deleted successfully. Now let's check and see if truly it has been deleted or Alice has been deleted successfully. Right click on the employee table, edit top 200 rows, and then when it opens, you shouldn't see Alice there anymore. So guys, thanks for watching. That is how we delete a record from a database in the c-sharp application the next section we'll be talking about is how to get the information into our data grid view our table so we don't have to be always coming to the management studio to check what we've done so stay tuned